so with the composite setup also we have the bond and the bond is used so the material can adhere to the tooth this is OptiBond, which is a Solo Plus. Um, we use that because it's simple, because we can just snap it open. This is like an older one. Of course, it's been used, but you know, it's not going in the patient's mouth. So we'll dip it in some bond and hand it to the doctor, and it goes on the tooth. So that's called OptiBond. All right, now this is a well. This well is for when we use the sensitizer, which is sometimes used to line the pulp. So the patient won't have that much sensitivity after the filling is done, especially composite um, fillings. This is actually composite. This is a composite capsule. Of course, that says B1 because it's different shades of composite. Now, I'm going to bring this over here, which is a composite gun. I'm going to snap it. Okay, that's how you put it in. You take the top, the cap off, press it a little bit just to get a little bit out because the doctor likes to test it. Hand it to the doctor. Okay, so it comes out smoothly. All right, this right here is actually called Dical. Dical can also be used as a cavity liner, okay? Radiopaque calcium hydroxide composition. That's what it is because that's the type of material it is. You have a base and you have a catalyst. And once you mix those together, it will have a uniform color and that is used as a liner. We also have Lime-like. Now this has become very popular. A doctor likes to use those as a cavity liner versus the Dical, but guess what? Depends on the doctor that you're working for. Um, this is kind of like a sample etchant because that's always used before anything else is used. Floorable, particularly sometimes doctors like to use that to just to line it a little bit also before they actually put the real composite on top of the actual tooth. Now, Next, we have an actual mylar strip. It's very clear. It's called a mylar strip. It goes in between the tooth, especially anterior. These are used on anterior teeth, okay? Now, this here is a cotton tip applicator, all right? We use that when we're getting ready to set the patient up for anesthesia because we have our topical. We use a dip in the topical, sit it on top of a two-by-two -two gauze here, have it set and ready. When the patient comes in, you swap the, the area that's going to be um, um, worked on, and you're good to go. Now, this is an HVE. This is a saliva, saliva, saliva ejector, okay? So the HVE is used to, is a high vacuum. So this is used to remove access debris in the mouth, filling material, anything else that the patient can swallow. This is used to remove saliva, okay? Saliva ejector. That's what that is. Last but not least, we're going to have floss. Of course, once the patient is done, at the end, we're going to floss in between the teeth to make sure anything is not left. And we have this cup here. Sometimes I have the cup standing straight up. Sometimes, use the reason why I have this. Usually at the end, the bitter taste the patient have in his mouth or her, because of the procedure, I would use like some Breathorex. Breathorex is like an actual great mouthwash because it's alcohol free. And before the patient leaves, make sure the patient hand sanitized. This is hand sanitizer. They might want to take a look at the tooth, so we'll give them the mirror so you can see how great they look. And that is in the video. Oh, hold on, one more thing. The light curing light, I also got to mention that. Of course, you can't light composite without the light curing light. So this is the light curing light right here. And these are actual the glasses that you put on to protect you from the UV light. So this is great, and this is the actual end of the video. So we'll see y'all with the next video, which is going to be on how to set up a top of my ear.